Good morning, everybody. Welcome to our Sunday School. Uh, this morning, um, the topic for our Sunday School is doing the Father's work. Doing the Father's work. Our scripture lesson this morning is coming from John chapter 5, um, 19 to 29. So before we start, we're going to sing a song. Real, real, real Jesus is real to me. Oh, yes, gave us the victory. So many people without him, but I can't live without him. And that is why I love him so. He's so real to me in the morning. He's real, real. Jesus is real to me. Father, our God, we so delightful to be here. We're so happy. We're so blessed to be here. Another Sunday morning when we all can gather here. Lord, I know, we know, it is not that way everywhere. It is a privilege to be able to work into this sanctuary, to be able to walk into this church, to be able to have service, uh, not worry about who's going to come in and, and, and blow the building away. Lord, we, we, we thank you for this open door. We thank you for this opportunity, Father. We appreciate it the more because of who you are in our lives. Father, we come this morning to learn of you. We come this morning to know who you are in our lives. We come this morning to have a closer walk with you. We come this morning, Lord, to feast with you, to have that intimacy with you. Father, I pray right now in the name of Jesus, those that are on the way, you will protect them, you guide them, you give them traveling mercies. Lord, we pray right now in the name of Jesus, everything today, every single thing that will be done, that will be said, will be to your glory. It's our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Good morning again. Our lesson this morning is doing the Father's work, right? Amen. And the scripture text is coming out of... Uh, John 5, 19 to 29. So please read the scripture lesson. Right, I got it. John 5, 19, read. Then answered Jesus and said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, the Son can do nothing of himself, mm -hmm. but what he saith the Father do. For what things soever he doeth, these also doeth the Son likewise. For the Father loved, loveth the Son, and showeth him all things, that himself doeth, and he will show himself greater work than these, that he may marvel. For as the Father raiseth up the dead, and quickened them, even so the Son quickeneth them whom he will. For the Father judges no man, but have committed all judgment unto the Son, that all men should honor the Son, even as they honor the Father. Mm -hmm. He that honoreth not the Son, honoreth not the Father, which hath sent him. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me hath everlasting life, and he shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. Verily, verily, I say unto you, that the hour is coming, and now is when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God, and they that hear shall live. For as the Father have life in himself, so have he given to the Son to have life in himself, and have given him authority to execute judgment also, because he is also the Son of Man. Marvel not at this, for the hour is coming, and the which and the which all that are in the grave shall hear his voice, and shall come forth. They that have done good unto the resurrection of life, and they that have done evil into the resurrection of damnation. Amen. Amen. <coughs> this is a lot here um, to unpack, but it's all have to do with Jesus being the Son of God, and Jesus is making himself 
or telling everybody that me and my father, we are one, right? So normally when you do math, for your math folks out there, right, people that love math, mm -hmm. when you take one plus one, it's equal what? A, B. Oh, okay. <laughs> right? It's equal to, that's my kind of math, right? And then, and then, and then you heard that A, B stuff. You, you, God bless you. But for me, one plus one equal two. two. It's not a trick question, Will. <laughs> one plus one equal two. Now, we see in this lesson, one plus one is equal one. Come on, it's not a trick question, right? Mm -hmm. One plus one is equal one. And, 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 and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to kind of set, set the tone here for, for where the one plus one is equal one here in this lesson, right? Uh, let's go to John chapter 14, verses 8 and 9. John 14, 8 and 9. Read that for me. John 14, 8 and 9. Right. 8 and 9. Read. Read. Uh, Philip said unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it suffice us. Suffice us. Jesus said unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that hath seen me hath seen the Father. And how say it thou then show us the Father? Okay, so so you, so you get it, right? So here is Philip is saying, okay, I've been around here for a minute. I've seen some stuff you've done, right? But based on our religious system, based on our belief system, we know there is God the Father as well. So if there is God the Father, can you show us God the Father? So we we all right. We saw we saw a few things. We saw a couple of things you've done, and you've been with us and. And, and, and uh, you know, obviously some of the stuff that you are doing, you got power from somewhere. But now we want to see the Father. And Jesus since it was like, if I was to translate this into, the, you know, 2023, it's almost like, are you kidding me? For real? Have I been with you for so long that now you're asking me to show you the Father? When you see me, you see the Father. Amen. Right? When you see me, you see the Father because the reason is me and the Father is what? One. one. I'm, I'm trying to get the math going. It's, okay. it's, it's not registering okay. yet. Okay. Right? Okay. It's one. Right? It's one. So in, in, this, in this verse over here, we see Jesus, right, is talking to the religious folks. He's talking to the people um, that had a, I have a little bit of problem with him. So if you, if you, if you start in chapter 5, Right? This is where Jesus walked into this to this place, right? And while he's in this place, he took a glimpse at a man, right, who was there for 38 years. And this man was crippled. 38 years crippled man. And Jesus is looking at him because he's the, he's the God of compassion, right? Mm -hmm. So he's looking at him and he says to him uh, something to the effect, oh, wow. Oh, kind of, you know, like what's going on? So, well, everybody else seems to have somebody when, when the angel comes and, you know, shake the pool a little bit and they, they can don't come in. And when they come out, they come out whole. For me, I have not had that opportunity. I have not had that chance to say, oh, somebody please dump me in there. So because of that, I've been sitting here all these years, all these years that I've been sitting here. It just happened to be the Sabbath day. And Jesus is like, okay, do you do you, do you do you want to be whole? Do you, do you want to be whole? Because the question is, do you, do you want some of this good stuff? People working and 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 and, and not have to stay here. His answer was obviously yes. Now the religious leaders, right? They didn't they didn't appreciate that. You 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 imagine, right? For thirty eight years, you saw somebody sitting there. In agony, begging, doing everything else, couldn't do anything for themselves. Now, you really care about what day that a miracle was done to this person that they're able to walk again? They took offense to that. And this is where now Jesus is establishing, saying, Okay, I know you have your religious stuff, I know you have different things that you know you believe in, but this is who I am, right? I say unto you, the sinner man cannot do anything by himself. 
So, so he established the foundation. So for you and I, right, the great thing about, about Christianity is this. We have a foundation, right? And we have to make sure our foundation is solid. We have a foundation. We want to make sure it's solid. I repeat that again because there's a lot of religion or a lot of belief system out there that will tell you, right? Mm -hmm. Jesus was a good man. He was a very good man. We believe he was a good man. We believe that he's done some stuff, right? Mm -hmm. But but you know, the son of men, the son of God thing, the miracle stuff, he died three days, rose again. Because he leave, I leave, because he leave, I can see tomorrow stuff. I don't know about that, right? He's among the great prophets that ever exist, but not the Son of God, not equal to God. Well, Jesus is here telling them, no, that's not the case. I am telling you who I am. There's nothing that I've done. There's nothing that I can do that I do by myself. Mm -hmm. Everything that I'm doing, I've seen the Father, all right? He's done it, and that's the reason that I'm doing it. So if, as, as you're reading it, right, he's, he's, he's talking about marvel not. So this time, all they saw at this point, right, because we kind of, chapter 5 in the Gospel of John, we kind of at the very beginning, of Jesus' miracles. It's like, really, you guys saw that I told someone that was crippled for 38 years to get up and walk, and you you really like, wow, you haven't seen nothing yet. Marvel not. Be, why? Because what happened in chapter 5 and on up is more miracles, right? More miracles, right? Jairus' daughter, the son, the, 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 the son of none who was dead, right? Uh, 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 the big one, the stinketh one, right? Lazarus, four days, right? So, so, so now it's like, okay, you just saw somebody walk and you're going, you're going crazy about this and, and try to kill me. What happened? When you really see like some of the stuff that I'm doing. And don't forget, at the very end of the Gospel of John, it says Jesus has done so many miracles. If they have to, to report every single one of them, your Bible will, will not even be able to come to this door because he's done so much stuff, right? So in this lesson, the foundation for us is to know who Jesus Christ is in our lives. To know that without him, nothing happened, right? And, and even at the very outset of John Gospel, it started saying, in the beginning, right? Mm -hmm. In the beginning, why is the word? and the word become flesh and dwell among us. So if you looking for God the Father, God the Father was here. He's been with us. You read the scripture when, when, when he told Philip, have I been with you for so long, but you're still asking me, can you see the Father, right? Mm -hmm. Because the reason for that is simply, he says, dwell among us. And as he dwell among us, he's saying, everything that was made, was made by him. There was not a thing that was made that wasn't made by Jesus. So Jesus and the Father, let's try this again. One. All right, Will. I, I, know, I, know, I know you will get it. A little slow, but I know you will get it. Right? One. So do not compromise. Do not go along with when someone is trying okay, to discredit Jesus. Do not go along when someone says, well, well, you know, that's what you believe and all that stuff. No, we need to establish the foundation of our belief system. Our belief system, right, it's a triune God. God the Father, God the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God. Okay, here's another math for you, three and one. All right? So, so, so now Jesus is, is, is simply telling them who he is because if we go back chapter and chapter four, right, again, we go back, in this book for our lesson, you remember Jesus coming out of the water after his baptism mm -hmm. and that voice just said, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. I believe that's the voice he used, but <laughs> all right. So I'm well pleased. So now he's Jesus again talking about his relationship with his father. So he talks about, um, uh, I'm, I'm looking at verse 21 when he says, for as the father raised up the dead and quickened them, so the son quicken whom he will. Um, in the book of Daniel, chapter 7, 
verse 13. Please find that. Because okay. there's, there's a lot of son of men. Daniel 7. 7. 13. I saw in, in the night vision, and behold, one like the Son of Man became with the cloud of heaven and came to the Ancient of Days, and they brought him near before him. Okay, so so we, 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 we do have some folks that's listening and, and, and different social media platforms. Would you read that a little loud for me, please? I don't want them to miss out. I saw in the night vision, and behold, one like the Son of Man came into the cloud of heaven and came to the Ancient of Days, and they brought him near before him. The Ancient of Day here, all right? The Ancient of Days. So that's where, when you see in the scripture, Jesus keep talking about the Son of Man, the Son of Man. So that's all back in, 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 the, in the Old Testament, right? So now <clears throat> we talk about our foundation, right? Our faith. It's not something that it's it's it, it shouldn't be. I would say shallow, right? Where everything that comes in can move it from one direction to the next, right? Our faith, our faith need to be built in a firm, firm foundation, and a firm foundation is Jesus Christ, is my Lord and Savior. Jesus Christ equal to God. He's just God the Father. Jesus Christ. Is all in all, right? Jesus Christ is it. He's not a prophet. He's not somebody that was here doing some good things for some good people. He was God Himself, right? He was God Himself. So we have to make sure that we understand that and we stay on that on that belief system because uh, Judaism part of it talks about you know they're still waiting for a Messiah. Other religions still talking about Jesus being a prophet. Other religions don't believe in Jesus at all. Some use his name as a great philosopher. Some use his name as a man that did a lot of great stuff. But for him to be God, nah, we, we, we cannot do that. And, and, and Jesus break all those barriers, right? When it comes to prejudice, right? When it comes to, well, you're not of, of this class or that class because here's Jesus coming from Nazareth into Jerusalem, right? This is where this miracle took place. And they're like, well, you know, we don't really mingle with people like that because, you know, we live on top of the hill and everybody else is in the bottom of the hill. We live in this city over here because, you know, we're in Burlington, right? I leave that alone. But there's also Burlington City, right? There's also Willingboro. This is Burlington City. Oh, this is Burlington City? Okay, and then the other side over here is Burlington. Township. Township. Okay, we better recognize, right? <laughs> so, again, Jesus break all those barriers, right? Because he got into some of these places and did think that normally you wouldn't see somebody from a town coming into another town, right? And do this kind of thing. But he wanted to show that not only he was God, but he was God for ev he was God of everybody, okay? Red, blue, white, yellow, everybody. But the only condition is, right? Verse 23 says that all men shall honor the Son. All men shall honor the Son. It's a specific value that we have to put into Jesus. It's a specific value that we have to put into Jesus. Because the reason for that is because Jesus is not just another man or just another prophet. Because without him, there is no salvation. Without him, there is no, you know, absence from the, this body is present with the Lord. Because the promise that was made was only made because Jesus came here, live his life, die, right? But the best part is, he rose again, and after, you know, about 40 days here, for a period of silence, come back and say, hey, I'm leaving. I'm gone, but just wait. While I'm leaving, I got to go prepare your place. Why? Because where I am there, you will be also. Because in my father's house, in his kingdom, there's many mentioned, right? Mm -hmm. Well, actually, we'll have a mention, believe it or not. All right? <laughs> so there's many mentioned. And if it wasn't so, I wouldn't tell you. So therefore, our salvation, right? Our belief system, our foundation 
is Jesus Christ and make no mistake on that um, Jesus talk also about you know every time he said this verily 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 it's simply like okay I'm telling you this and you need to pay attention to it right he's, he's talking about the verily 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 because he wants to make sure that you get it he wants to make sure that you're paying attention right 24 say verily verily I say unto you he that heal my word and believe in, in, in on him that sent me have everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation, but pass from death into life. Right? Mm -hmm. That is our salvation. This is our hope right here. This is our only hope. When we live this crazy world, no matter how long we live here, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, right? We start to lose our head a little bit. I mean, some of us start losing a little early than that, right? And, uh, and, and, and no matter how long we live here, it's a sh very short time comparing with what eternity is going to be like. I have no idea. But it, it's the thought of it to know that there will be no more death, no more sickness, no more sorrow, no more father bearing the son and mother bearing the children and cancer and people suffering endlessly sometimes. Right? There's none of that. So you see, you see, verily, verily, I say unto you, that hear my word, right? Mm -hmm. You have to hear it. And not only hear it, you got to believe it. Because there's a lot of people that have been hearing the word, but they do not believe. Mm -hmm. But Jesus is making it a point. I need you to hear it, and at the same time, believe on that word. Because this is where faith comes to play. Okay? Because, again, you read, you read that scripture earlier, John 14, 8, 9. Philip believed, he had a word, he believed a little bit, but he was looking for assurance. The assurance is, okay, we have a belief system, right? We have a religion that we believe in. We know the law of Moses, we know everything else. We know about Jehovah. And you were here. Clearly, you've done some stuff that make us say, hmm. But now we want to see the Father. But Jesus said, no, 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 no. What you have to do is not only hearing the word, but you also have to believe in the word. And from believing in the word, even when you die, you're not dead. How's that? Right? Even when you, people think you're gone and everything else, you're not gone yet. You have eternal life awaiting you if you believe in Jesus Christ. Right down below, there's another verily, 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 verse 25. I say unto you, the hour is coming and now is when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God and that the healed shall live. So, very interesting thing because at one point, believe it or not, you and I was among the dead. Hello? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. At some point in our life, because we were doing our own thing, right? We were doing our own thing and everything that we were doing feels good. Hello? Yes. Feels good, look good at time, right? Look good at time, feels good, and... Tastes good. Okay, tastes good. <laughs> All right, sis, tastes good. But only when we start listening to the Word of God, right? And it's saying, uh-uh, there's a different way. Uh-uh, there's a better way. What you think feels good now doesn't really feel good. What you think tastes good now really doesn't taste good, right? And the word is start coming into us. Now from the word, now we have an action to make. And the action was, what do we believe? And once we got to that belief system, and that's when we said, okay, now I get it. There's certain things that I still want to do. There's certain things I still want to taste. Hello, Sister Evo. Um, you all right? <laughs> but, but because of the, my belief system, Right? Because what I believe in, I cannot do that anymore. That's what that means. And, and for you and I, it's a struggle sometimes because we always kind of go on back and forth because that flesh will get in the way at times. And based on our belief system, we always got to go back to the scripture. Like Jesus was saying on our lesson last week, it is written, it is written, it is written. Right? So, 
Um, the next thing here in, 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 in our lesson that I want to print, print out is um, 26 read for as the father have life in himself so that he's given to the son to have life in himself as well. All right. And then 27 say and have given him authority to execute the judgment also because he's the son of man. We already read the scripture about the son of man. Um, but he given him the authority for judgment. Here in, 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 in this passage, Jesus is again is, is showing himself and the Father in unity and everything they do. Jesus and the Father <coughs> is in unity. So if you ever have any doubt about your Savior, if you ever have any doubt about who Jesus is, if, if you being among folks that giving you a different view of what Jesus is, your foundation, your belief system, what you believe, the Word of God should convince you enough to know that Jesus is our Lord. Jesus is our Savior. And seeing Jesus, accepting Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you are part now of the Godhead, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen? Amen. Amen. Um, so we're going to get... We get, we get into verse 28. It says, Marvel not at this, for the hour is coming in which all that are in the grave shall hear his voice. Hello. Mm -hmm. All that are in the graves. So if, if I want to make this a little simple, right? It's not that simple because people are still trying to figure out during the time when Jesus died on the cross, where did he go, what did he do, and all that stuff. It's not our lesson for this morning. But one thing for sure, right? The Bible said, there's going to be one day, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, right? Mm -hmm. So with that here, there's not one person who's not going to come before God, all right? Whether you're down in the sea, whether you're down in the tree, whether you're down anywhere, right? When that trumpet sound, when that day of judgment come, everything will come together, right? It's like one of those little robotic movies, okay? Everything's sad. You watch Thriller? Yeah, I think you did. Um, right? So, with all that said, everybody is going to have their day, good or bad, but you will hear from Jesus. And this morning, right, whether you're watching somewhere or listening somewhere, the most important thing that you can do for yourself is to know who Jesus Christ is. Because if you miss that book, you miss out on everything. It doesn't matter what you have. It doesn't matter how long you live here. It doesn't matter your prestige or anything like that. Not knowing Jesus is serious stuff. Mm -hmm. And yes, some folks think if you deny him now, you have another opportunity. That's not biblical. It is not biblical because Jesus said it himself, right? You have to hear the word and you have to believe in the word. If you don't believe now, when you lay down somewhere in a casket if you if you have that opportunity because not everybody get that chance some people burn some people die in the sea some people die tragically to the point where there's not even a casket right but when you laying there or wherever you, you are right people then try to put you in a place you never want to be that's not biblical jesus is god equal with the father equal with the holy spirit one God. That's where he's establishing right here in this, in this lesson this morning who he is. And he says that, you know, marvel not because you, you, you see some things that's been done at the early ministry of Jesus Christ and people was like, wow. Right? But, but again, some people, all they did was they heard the word, right? Mm -hmm. Lady at the well, because he, he, he's gone through Samaria met that lady and he had a great conversation with her and he kind of tell her a couple of things about himself. She's like, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm good, I agree, yeah, you're right. And then the Bible says she went back in town and did what? Tell everybody, I met this man. He told me everything about myself. Come see him. And the Bible said people came in and saw Jesus and believed. Marvel not as the little stuff that you see me doing now. I'm just getting warmed up. I'm just getting warmed up. Raise somebody from the dead is not a thing to me. 
have somebody that was 38 years laying somewhere, right? That just lay there and told them, pick up your stuff and walk. You mad because I did it on the Sabbath? I have authority over the Sabbath. Somebody mm -hmm. was for men and not for me, right? John chapter 9, a man who was born blind, never seen one near his life, and I said, here. And then all of a sudden he's seen in stereo. See clearer than you and I? That's nothing yet. Because what has to come is we're going to see something that never been done before. You're going to see a man, me personally, you're going to see me walk up the wall to, to, to Calvary with a big beam in my back getting beat up because of you and because of you, because of you and because of me. And then when they think that they were done with me, and here I am, early Sunday morning, I'm knocking the people's door seat and got something to eat. Mm -hmm. Right? And then not only that, it's not a secret, 500 people at one time will see me, mm -hmm. Thomas will come and fill me. So don't marvel at these little things because they're just little things. And through all that, the biggest miracle yet is the folks that's in this room today. Because this thing was done miles and miles and miles away, but because I picked 12 men, right? I picked 12 men to spread this word, this gospel of Jesus Christ, would be heard all over the world. Amen. What about the cavemen? What about the cavemen? Right? People always have a sin. People always have a way to, you know, to distract you. What about the cavemen? Would you hear the gospel? According to Romans chapter 1, yeah. You see, even nature knows there's a God. Right? And furthermore, don't worry about the cavemen. Let's worry about you right here that have TV, radio, internet, TikTok, birds, whatever you use, right? To get your information, <laughs> pigeon. <laughs> right? Tweet to get your information. Let's worry about you. When you hear this word, do you believe? Mm -hmm. Do you believe that Jesus Christ is Lord? Do you believe that Him and the Father are what, Moya? One. One, right? I got, I got an A. He got an A, right? <laughs> because every other math formula, one plus one is two. This time, one plus one is one. Mm. They must have moved the decimal. They did? Okay, <laughs> I'll, I'll go along with that. What did you get out of this lesson? It's really a lot to unpack here. Go ahead. A lot to unpack, unpack a great deal of it. Um, starting with the first, um, um, I'm the verse 19 where there was the healing of the of the man, like the Jewish system, they believe, hey, you're doing this on the Sabbath. You are, you Jesus, you're offending our belief system. Mm -hmm. You know, this is our way, our thing that we want to do, and you you encroaching upon that. And I just see it's always like that with mankind also. It's like, hey, you are offending us. And the Bible says like the, the cross is an offense to 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 men. Mm -hmm. And even when you're looking at it, um, look at Caiaphas also, and you know you we, we made the reference to to Daniel seven verse um, verse thirteen when Caiaphas was called, was um, talking to Jesus, saying, "Tell me who you are." And when Jesus says, "You know, you will see me like the Son of Man coming in the cloud," and mm -hmm. Caiaphas understood what Jesus was saying, that yeah, I am God, but that offended him, and just like um, Daniel seven. Basically saying that hey, Jesus is God, like they understood back in the days that any uh, the cloud writer, anyone writing in the cloud, is a representative of God. And Caiaphas understood that he said, "I am God," and that was offense to him and wanted to, to destroy Jesus. And just like you were saying that there's some people that's gonna don't, don't see Jesus as God. Mm -hmm. They see you know, they could see him as hey, you're just a good man, but you have to recognize him as God. And there's some people that will blown, refuse. Knowing the truth and still refuse, refuse the Lord. That's a lot. Amen. What I got from this is uh, marvel not because uh, you know when you said that, hey, he, there's these small things that he's doing. Everybody's looking at this and saying, oh, hey, he's doing these great and wonderful things, and and it's a, it's it's for me. I, I'm receiving something from this, and it's it's very small, but. Hold on, there is there's greater things that are coming ahead. Don't don't just think about the, the small things I'm performing in front of you now. Mm -hmm. Because when you you know there's a there's a time after time that when 
that there's there's going to be even greater wow. benefits mm -hmm. to to what I'm going to do for you. So that's that's what I got. From this. Yeah. Anybody else? Mm -hmm. I, and I'm always looking at it. And, um, it says also Jesus has the the power to give us life, just as the Father. Um, that that uh, that was very that was very amazing. So, so again, making the, the comparison, how Jesus uh, is one. As, as uh, you know, I've learned that hey, and the, the lesson today, <laughs> the math is one. That has when we see Christ, it is the Father. All authority, all power has been given to Him. So. Verse twenty: For the Father loveth the Son and showeth Him all things that Himself do, and He will show Him greater works than these, that you may marvel. <clears throat> to your point that God and Jesus are one, he trusted Jesus, his son, enough to give him all that he had. Uh, he showed him all things that himself did. He gave him everything. So he trusted Jesus, and, and so we should trust Christ too because trust God and Christ because of, of what they are doing on our behalf. Amen. I think, uh, uh, one second, I think uh, Brother Marx is something there's a time after time, right? Um, so you will think for a minute, someone watched somebody laying somewhere for that long, right? When something happened to that person, people will be happy. Wow, who did this for you? The guy simply said, I don't know. But if you continue to read, uh, chapter 5, the next time Jesus saw that man, he was in the temple. Hello? Mm -hmm. yes. He did the miracle, get him out of where he was at in his situation. The next time he saw him, he was in the temple. That's when Jesus saw him next. Which means not only now he, 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 he healed the man, not only that this man has the ability now to walk, but he knew exactly where to go. Right? Because of what God has done for me, mm -hmm. I have now an obligation to serve him. You find him in the temple. Okay. I don't know what passage of the Bible you use, right? When someone says I'm an atheist. I don't know what passage of the Bible you use, not to convince, but to show somebody, listen, there is a guy, mm -hmm. right? But I find John chapter 11, right? Verse 45 is one that I, 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 I say there is not one person Okay, there's not one person who doesn't know that God is real. Did you hear me? Yes. There's not one person on this universe who doesn't know there's a God. What they choose to do is not to believe in him, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, Brother Mark said something about time after time. The, the Jewish people at the time, so Jesus did a lot of miracles, mm -hmm. right? A lot. When he gets to Lazarus, it was enough. We just about got enough of this guy. When he get to Lazarus, there was no doubt, okay? The son of Nun, the widow's child, the child's daughter, it was just a couple days, oh, he, she just died. Maybe, maybe you know, we were so advanced at the time, they take the bottle, boom, boom. They got her, they got her up, right? Somebody died, passed, they come in with that bottle, you know what I'm talking about? No, they shock, you they shock you back to life. <laughs> yeah. Anybody ever seen this before? Right? No, he said if it was a dance. Okay. Right? So we 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 we're thinking that way. But this is where it gets real good, but real bad for the unbeliever. Mm -hmm. Four days, you ain't getting shot nobody back to life. Okay? Four days. For the for those of us that come from the Caribbean. Right? Where it's always 100 degrees, four days in the grave, you stink. Yep. That's exactly how the King James Version translated it. Stinketh. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's how you translate it. That verse right here, when they came in and they saw Lazarus, they want to kill Jesus and they want to kill Lazarus. Come on, give the guy a break. Jesus just got him back from the dead. But they want to kill both of them. Why? It was too much for them. And when you read it, right? When you read it, verse 45 says, Therefore, many of the Jews who had come to visit Mary have seen what Jesus did, believe in him. Mm -hmm. 
when you preach the gospel, some people are going to believe, mm -hmm. some are going to reject, mm -hmm. some are going to say they'll see you again. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you, yeah, that was part of my question uh, regarding the accepting and believing. When it says that quicken, it quicken uh, the person. So there's a point that, okay, they understand. They, yes. But they understand. Uh, can you elaborate a little bit more on the quickening part of it? Well, I, I said it here before, and even in this book, the quicken part is you saw a miracle. Mm -hmm. Wow. And then, and then you're like, let me follow a little bit. And then you're like, uh, I need to see some more. Because our curious mind, right, or we, 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 we creature of, I guess, habits. habits and we see different things, right? How many times the doctor said, I'm going to send you home, there's nothing else I can do. And this person lived to be another 20, 30 years. You, you did, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not in Jerusalem, it's right here, you've seen it, you live it, you know someone, right? And that moment, people were praying, things was being done, and then... As time goes on, it just fizzled. It was just another thing. Here, they saw something, they believe, right? But some of them of the Pharisees and told them what Jesus has done. But the chief priests and the Pharisees call a meeting to the Sanhedrin. Why? Why they call a meeting? Because this guy is too much. If we don't do something about him, he's going to take over. And then you know when you, have you ever get stupid? No, don't answer that. All right? So you, do, you get stupid, you do something, and you think, what I'm going to do is going to solve a problem. And what you end up doing is, come on. You make it worse, right? They say, well, well we are accomplishing. They ask here, the men performing many signs. If we let him go like this, everyone would believe in him. <laughs> And then the Romans will come and take care of both our temple and our nation. Then one of them named Caiaphas, who was the high priest, right, that you spoke up, said, you know nothing at all. So he's insulting his own folks. You do not realize that it's better for you that one man die for the people than the whole of the nation perish. They thought they were fixing something. Did you get it? Yeah. But one man died didn't just fix the nation, it fixed the entire world. We're talking about murder. Right? Well, it was okay to murder somebody on the Sabbath day, but it wasn't okay to make somebody whole on the Sabbath day. I mean, you go figure. Right? So here they're saying one man has to die. Little did they know that one man who died, right? He died because he died. You and I today you know what Christianity is. You and I today have hope in this room. No matter how last week was, no matter what is ahead this week. One thing we all know, Jesus is still on the throne. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Amen? So, don't let people tell you, I don't believe in God, I don't believe in Jesus. They do. It's just not accepting it. It's just not accepting it. They, they don't accept it. Go ahead. I was just going to say, I have a friend who says he's an atheist. Um, but I don't believe it either, and I tell him that all the time because... Mm -hmm. He has, like, first of all, he has just the biggest heart. He's a really successful person and just has the biggest heart. He gives back all the time. But his, his in-law, his wife's family, <clears throat> um, her cousin's husband is a pastor in Philadelphia. He has a church there. This man gives his time to that church all the time. All the time. He's always doing... Like he gives classes there as an IT person. He gives classes there. He started doing it for the elderly. He started doing it for the kids. He just <coughs> gives all his time to help the congregation, but professes that, you know, I'm an atheist. And I laugh at him. I'm like, oh, you're really not. He just, he's like that. He won't say the words, but he, his actions say different, you know? It's kind of interesting. Yeah, he's an he's an he's an on the cover Christian. <laughs> but but again, the reason is that if he accepts the fact that Jesus is Lord mm -hmm. or there is a God and whatever he's enjoying, right, mm -hmm. is done by intelligence design and if it's done by an intelligence design and there's a designer and the designer name is God, then that makes him a little lower because you know, I have to be able to see everything that I ever got in life. 
Everything that I ever accomplish is by pulling the boots trouble my I actually have a boots on this morning. Alright? It's by me doing my yes, brother Mark, it is a boot. I, I, I did it all by myself, right? But not not thinking about well, who created the material, right? Who give me the health to do it, how it's been done, right? So you gotta go back. But that person has he believe. But when you believe, when you heard, you gotta believe. When you believe, you got there's an action that has to come in. Mm -hmm. I don't know what he's struggling with, but he's struggling with something. Yep. So, something he made that just wanna release to. So, something he enjoy doing. And yes. Or there be certain kind of sin that he's doing, whatever that it may be. That hey, if I go this way with the Lord, then I gotta let that go and you not want to. Yes. So basically, what he's doing is openly he's denying mm -hmm. God. Or the Jesus is Savior and, and all these things, he's not confessing his mouth and saying, Hey, you know, I believe in Lord Jesus Christ. So I don't know how that directs the path that he is going to. Don't know, but, but the thing about it is this, right? So as we look at the lesson, again, our time is up. But what, what we have to remember is this we have a firm foundation, and that foundation is Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. We cannot allow somebody else, right, to distort that, tell us that Jesus was a prophet, he was a good man. No, Jesus was the son of God. Mm -hmm. And just like he told Philip, have I been with you for so long and you don't know me yet, right? Mm -hmm. That's what he told him. Jesus is Lord. Jesus plus God is one, and that's exactly what Jesus established in this lesson, right? Sister Diggs. Close us out in prayer, please. Dear Lord, our Heavenly Father, we come before you, dear Lord, just thanking you for this awesome day. We thank you, dear Lord, for the opportunity to gather together, dear Lord, and learn more and more about you, dear Lord, that we may go about each and every day being a witness for you, dear Amen. Lord, and Amen. showing others, dear Lord, that you are still alive, that you are well dear lord and that you profess dear lord to be in control of all things and dear lord i just want to thank you for this day dear lord it is my father's 81st birthday dear Amen. lord and i just Hallelujah. thank you dear lord for allowing him to see this day dear lord he didn't think he'd live past 40 mm. but he made it dear lord through your grace and your mercy and lord i just pray for all the family members that are represented here that you would bless them you know their needs you know their desires you know what they um need and, and and stand for dear lord so we just thank you once again and we ask that you would continue to order our steps may yes. we walk in the spirit and not in the flesh amen. these are all things we ask and pray in jesus christ's name amen amen, amen. 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 and also